Well, welcome to The Market Capitalist. I am Domenico Johnston. Debt. It could be a disastrous thing or it could be a very useful thing for yourself. It's kind of like a knife. You can cut meat with it or you can cut yourself with it. Well, in the case of debt, you can use it to your advantage, like many businesses and individuals do, or you can use it to your detriment, which many people do as well. Today I want to talk about credit card debt. It's the most widely used and widely well-known type of debt, and it's more, more or less universally known that it is very dangerous if you get into a lot of credit card debt. And therefore, I think it's very applicable to really come to grips with what's happening when you're incurring this debt and a few tips on how you can kind of steer away from it if you haven't gone into it already or how you can bring yourself out of it. The first thing is to recognize what's going on when you're incurring credit card debt or really any debt that's more or less frivolous in nature in general. When you're doing such activities or you're engaging in such activities, what's really going on is that you're voluntarily enslaving yourself to something. You're saying that my future, you know, the wages that I earn in the future are not mine, they're somebody else's because I need a new outfit, a new, um, a new watch, whatever it is. Uh, that thing that you've charged for, that you've overextended yourself on, was so important that you're willing to give up your future for that item. Now, most people, in retrospect, will say to themselves, that's crazy. Why would I want to, you know, have my future taken away from me that, that which I earn in the future, my future earnings, because of some frivolous item that I wanted but really didn't need. That, people can go on and on about this, but I think it really comes down to having goals in life. And when you set your goals in life, you're probably not going to say, my goal in life is to get saddled with the most credit card debt I can possibly incur. That's probably not going to be the goal. If you go and define meaningful goals in your life, you're going to say, I want to do X, Y, and Z in the next months, years, decades. And those are going to be very meaningful goals to you. And when they're meaningful, it allows you to exclude things. And that's a very difficult thing for people, the exclusion part. Because if something is that meaningful to you, you're going to say no to certain things that you would have said yes to if you really didn't define what's important in life. So going ahead, making a plan, defining what's meaningful will make you say to yourself, no, I'm not going to incur that debt because I need to achieve X goal. And when that happens, you're solving the problem for yourself, whether you're in debt already or you're out of debt. You're essentially saying, no, I'm not going to go down that path. And therefore, you can either steal, steer clear of that totally, or you can start moving away from that problem. Again, setting priorities, setting goals is a very important and very powerful way for someone that is either worried or doesn't have control of their finances to try to bring some control to it and really evaluate what's important. Again, I hope this helps anybody that is in debt or worried about going in debt to steer clear or steer out of that bad path that you may be in. Um, thank you for tuning in to marketcapitalist.com. All your finance needs, wants, and desires.